Hi guys, it's Nigel Locking from Better State Agents and I hope you're all well. Today we're down in Devonshire Place and just in behind me, I'm just going to show you, just there is a very spacious three bedroom terrace property. Now look guys, these were built in the 70s and they're so sought after and it's because of the size, not just downstairs but up. And what has it got? Long hallways, lovely sitting rooms, uh, it's got a downstairs cloakroom, nice big kitchen uh, breakfast room, kitchen diner, uh, it's got an inner passage as well that then links you to the garage. And then it's upstairs as well, the bathrooms are a decent size, um, the bedrooms are a decent size as well, they are double bedrooms up there, uh, it's double glazed, it's gas. And these really suit first time buyers or they'll suit investors or people downsizing. It's on the eastern side of town, uh, so going out towards the Calm side of town or Bromham. So look guys, you know how my video tours work. I'm just gonna flip this camera around. We're gonna talk about the amenities, the local area, the cul-de-sac, and then what we'll do once we've finished off, we'll pan the camera back to the property and we'll take a look inside. And here we have it guys, 23 Devonshire Place. So there we go, your two picture windows, that lovely window there. I'm just gonna turn around the camera because you've got this lovely green aspect here. There's no passing traffic. So it's just obviously pedestrianized um, with no vehicular access at all. It's set within similar properties. They're all built in the same era. If you just come out of that road down there, that will then take you into Queensway. There's a little school at the top there. Um, to walk into town, I would say no more than 10 to 15 minutes. If I was walking, it might be slightly more or slightly less. It depends on how quick you, you walk. There's a co-op shop just further up. There's also a petrol station garage. You can link yourself just up there to Sandridge Road. That takes you back into the town. Or if you carry on Sandridge Road, it goes beyond the eastern side and that links you then into Bromham. And from Bromham, you can get into Devizes or you can get into Cone. Melcham, like I said, it's a 10, 15 minute walk. It's got all the amenities you can ask for. These are really, really ideal for young families, first time buyers, guys, investors as well. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna have a take a look inside. There's some really generous room sizes to, to look at. Um, and then we'll, we'll take you through each room and go from there. And here we go, as we walk in, you've got a little garden into the front there. You've got some timber fencing. You can see there's a little canopy there, porch. That gives you a little covering. And then you can see the, uh, the double glazed door that's already opened as we go and head on inside. So what I'm just gonna do, just gonna shut the door behind me. And already you can start to see the size of these properties. Anybody that knows this area of Devonshire place will then get to, they will know automatically or immediately the size that, that this property offers, which is why they're so sought after. You can see the attractive flooring. And I'm just gonna walk a little bit further up, turn this camera around, just so I can show you as we've come in. Obviously you've got this long hallway. There is an understairs storage cupboard there. Just wanna go back on myself, just so I can show you where there's a radiator, little shelf there, which is attractive. And as I just pan that camera back around, guys, there you can see those stairs that goes to the first floor landing. Really good size entrance hall this. You can kick off your shoes, put them into the storage areas there, which we'll show you in a minute. But like I said, uh, very good sizes all around. As you can see, a multi-pane door. And if we look left, this takes you straight into the living room. And here you can see plenty of space for freestand and TV in the corner, another sofa unit there and just with the front of the property you've got these lovely big picture windows there's no lights on as such it just brings in all that natural light so it's really really decent that let me just turn the camera around so i'd like to give you all the different angles of each room and when we see these videos, we get a lot of compliments. It's about showing the, and demonstrating the possibilities of, of every home that we have. And it's a pleasure to have these. These were built in the 70s and we always sell these very well. And you know the market at the moment. So if you are interested, guys, I do say get in touch quickly uh, because we will have a long list of people looking to buy. These guys, it's just a lifestyle move. They've been here a number of years and they're looking to move away into a different area and they're just gonna uh, look at a different area that they've got their eye on. They've got one or two already. Of course they need to sell, but that's the reason for the move. So there we have it guys. Sofa unit there, plenty of space in there, that lovely picture window. And of course then another space for sofa units there. 
Just in behind there, you can see a radiator. And as I mentioned, the property is powered by gas heating. Out we come. And before I go into that kitchen area, which is just left, I just want to go a bit further on because there is a door here. I don't always open it up, but you can see plenty of storage there, guys. And this is what this property is about. Because just turning that camera, we mentioned there's a storage cupboard there. I'm not going to open it up and come back on yourself. Obviously, there's an inner passage, which we'll show you in a minute. That links to the garage. But in here, really useful. Downstairs, Lou. A little bit of tiling there, pedestal wash and base, and little tile splashback. And there's your low level WC. I'm just going to pop the camera in there. And you see a little double glazed window there as well. That just takes you into that inner passage. But really, really useful. Now, some people, they've created a little bit extra space into here. They've put a shower in there as well. I don't think that's necessarily needed. But if you wanted to and you wanted a shower, ideal. So I'm just going to close this door, come back on myself there. Let's just show off that hallway again. I absolutely love that hallway as we come in. I love space in a hallway. Well, this is that starter property. It gives you that in abundance. As the camera turns right, I guess this is going to be self-explanatory. It takes you into this lovely, spacious kitchen, dining room. And they are self-explanatory because they've got base units. They've got wall eye level cupboards. You're going to have plumbing for your wash machine and your dishwashers in here, guys. Nice table there, tile flooring, radiator there. Space for cooker, there is an extractor hood up there as well. And if I just turn that camera around, we can just see the other angles and that's where we came in from this kitchen. There you can see your plumbing for a wash machine, storage space for white goods. There's your one and a half bowl sink unit. I will pop that camera out there quickly. The owners are just sat in the garden while I'm doing the video. Lovely day today. Turn it around. And just show you this kitchen as well. I like to show you all the positives of a property. I think it's important, but also sometimes there's other things to, to think about with, with property because they all come in different ages. So I just want to show you where the boiler is because this boiler as we open up this cupboard is in here. It is an old boiler, it does work. But at some point this boiler won't and I'm sure someone will replace that to a more modern boiler. But it's fully serviceable, it fully works, but that's the one area I think somebody will look at later. And hence the way, reason why we've priced this accordingly, because it's a very good price guys and as you know this property won't be on the market long. So there's the kitchen. Um, just to recap as we come back out then guys, because we nearly finished the ground floor, there is an inner passage, there's that cute little um, uh, low, uh, cloak room I'll get my words out correctly a little recess in there which is quite nice I didn't show you that before but that's where you can put your shoes coat stand coat hooks or whatever turn back on yourself you've got more storage in there under the stairs you turn right you've got that lovely light airy living room come back out on yourself and you're into that nice spacious hallway so there we go, guys. That's the ground floor done. I hope you've enjoyed the tour as much as I have. Why don't we go upstairs, have a look at those generous bedrooms, bathroom, and take it from there. And here we go, guys, just coming from this long hallway again. Let's go upstairs. And we can take a room, uh, look at these generous bedrooms that I mentioned before. And also storage. It's not just bedrooms nowadays. Obviously, you can see the landing splits off. Your bathroom there. There's three bedrooms there, lovely built, built in storage there, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. All right. And of course, as we're here, why not take a look at the bathroom? And what these guys have done, they've taken the bath out, put a nice double walk in shower cubicle. It's the way forward nowadays. If you don't use baths, why not? You know, it's actually quite hard to get in to baths nowadays. Um, there's your radiator, low level WC. Turn the camera around and look at that lovely picture obscure double glazed window bringing in that natural light. There's your pedestal wash and basin. And like I said, that's the shower. Shower unit over, shower door, walk in. You could put a bath back in. I don't think anybody will, but if you did, it's all there. The tray's there, you just put the panel back in and then you've got your bath and you've got your shower over if you want it. It's quite a simple job that. So just turn the camera back around to show you again one more time, pedestal wash and basin. Low level WC, there's your radiator. 
and a nice spacious bathroom. So as we come out, I've mentioned storage. So I just want to mention in this uh, landing area, there is the access to the loft space. And I just love this because this is what you get. They're all built in. Fabulous storage area, storage again. We mentioned it downstairs and I'm going to mention it again. In fact, I'm going to keep mentioning it because it's absolutely brilliant to have that. Open this up. A bit more storage into there. So while we're here, straight in front, let's go to the smaller of the three bedrooms. And as you can see, big enough for a single bed, freestanding area there. There's a radiator just behind this door and that lovely picture window just in the front there, bringing in the natural light. These guys have got it as a little office and of course with the with COVID and working from home and homeschooling um, and people not having to go into the workplace, a lot of the bedrooms are now converted into offices and this is great because it lends itself for it. I'm not gonna, actually I'm gonna mention it, guess what? Another storage cupboard, built-in storage cupboard. So there's plenty of things that you can hide away in this property. Um, including your wine kids or whatever, whatever you fancy, you could hide away and have some fun with it. So as we come out, that's bedroom three, take a turn left, and then we go into the, one of the bedrooms, which are doubles. Again, freestanding, double bed. And as I bring that camera around, you can see there's a radiator. I'm just coming around this side. And again, these recess areas are really important because you can maximize, you can put things into the recess areas. And if you didn't think, there's another storage cupboard. Did I have I mentioned there's plenty of storage in this house? So you can see why they're so favorable because they're on a good side of town, they're close to amenities, and they offer you that space for this price. Absolutely brilliant. Come back out. And that's your second bedroom. And of course, a second bedroom wouldn't be the same without a first bedroom. Let's open this up. Here we have it, again, a nice big double bedroom. You've got some chest of drawers there, freestanding either side to a good size bed there. Let's just turn this around. And that will just show you the area that you've got here as a main bedroom. Really good there. And I'd love to show all the different angles of each room. So I'm just gonna come across into this corner of the bedroom. There we go. Come back out, open up this door. And there we have it. So just to recap guys, Come up the stairs from that lovely spacious well lit hallway up the stairs you come into this landing area into this decent size bathroom shower room suite whatever you want to call it you come out you've got master bedroom second bedroom good size third storage storage what else is there to say and that's it for upstairs so, so i hope you've enjoyed the tour so far what we should do is go out and have a look at that rear garden there is a garage with this property and a bit of parking we'll take it from there and here we go guys, I'm just going to come back from that hallway and I wanted to show you this inner passage because we hadn't done that yet. But cleverly you can use again a bit more of an area there for your washing machine, tumble dryers if you want it. And then you might have noticed there's a double glazed door. That's going to take you to the garden but I just want to open up this door because it links you into the good size garage that we've got and there is some power connected. Over the years people have made these into day rooms, playrooms, offices. You can do that guys, it lends itself for it. Um, you will need to consider the asbestos roof. They are built in uh, in the 50s for that or the 70s, they do have those. There is a company in Westbury, I believe, that will remove that for between 1,000 to 1,500 quid safely. But if you don't ever touch the roof, these are perfectly fine to use as garages. You can see there's power connected, there is an up and over door. And if we come back out on ourselves, what we should look at is take a look. At this rear garden, open up the door, and here we have it. Load to maintain, nice patio, 
timber fencing. There is a shed that we'll be staying. Little raised decking area, really cute. And what's the time now? It's about, I don't know, quarter past 12 today. So you can see where the sun is. The sun is gonna get here, get into this garden during the day as well. Walk a bit further up. We're just gonna go up to the decking area. There is a rear gate there. So I'm just gonna open up this rear gate a minute. I just want to show you a little bit extra out here so if I come out here this is where you can bring your car this is the garage that we saw inside it is a bit of a slope here so not always I don't always think you need to park there you can park your car there but it's a bit slopey but these guys they just park their car just in behind the rear there never had an issue with that I think that's probably more sensible to put the car myself but yeah, like I said you can park it in front of the garage if you don't mind parking on a slight slope. So I'm just gonna close this door back up. Come back down from the decking. And there you can see there's a little outside tap. Turn the camera around. And there we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour, guys, of 23 Devonshire Place. Brilliant property to have. I think I've demonstrated all the possibilities. We know the types of buyers, then we know the level of interest we're going to get on this. So if you are interested, please give me a nudge as soon as possible. It's Nigel at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents. Telephone number 01225 71 707 342. That's 707 342. I hope you've all enjoyed the sunshine. Let's uh, long may it continue. Look forward to hearing from you and take care.